squared it can be minus 5x or you can even choose to bring the 3 it's a comma it means this one can come, this one can also follow or this can start, this one can also follow it doesn't really matter it is not in any proper order good so if you want to bring the 3 to make it easy that is it now minus 5x minus 5 did you see that we lowered this man here? We didn't repeat this man here. Good. Now, method of grouping. I factor 3x out. 3x goes here, x. 3x goes here, 1. Minus 5 out. Now, minus 5 into minus 5x, that will give me positive x. Minus 5 into minus 5 will give me what? Positive 1. So, take note. Whatever you get here, you get the same thing here. So, I put them together factor one and I put the outsiders together those standing outside put them together that is it please this is quadratic equation there is no zero equal to zero stuff here we have some quadratic equations that we are doing which will give us zero or anytime we start it we will, we will produce zero we don't fix zero by force no it will be within the confines of the equation where we have to check some numbers or rearrange which will cause a zero somewhere as we saw in some of the other videos that we did in variation so please, that is it. That is the answer. Good. Now the third one. That is x squared plus x minus 6. As usual, there can be a coefficient here. So there is 1 by minus 6. That will produce minus 6. I will still test my factors. Good. So... I have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. So these are the factors to be used. Good. So let's try them. That is, two numbers are multiplied by minus 6. But when I add, I get 1. How do you know there is 1 here? You see, you can't add and get x. There's a coefficient here secretly, that is 1. So 2 numbers are multiplying and minus s and add and get 1, not x. Good. So we can try these numbers. Minus 2 times 3, that will give me minus x. That's wonderful. Let's add them the same way and see. That will give me positive 1. Good. The factors are working. So these are the factors to be used, you see. So anytime I test my factors, I chip them in. I test my factors, I chip them in. That is what you are saying. Now let's chip them in. Good. So you have x squared minus 2x plus 3x. Please take note. The only thing which disappears in the quadratic is the middle term. The assumption is based on the middle term. That is what helps us to get the four term Four terms we are seeing here before we are able to group. Good. Minus six. So I group them. X out. X goes here, X. X goes here, minus two. Plus three out. Why plus three? This is three, this is six. What can enter three X and enter six? It's three. I can't factor X out because there's no X here. Remember the concept of factorization. Good. So I factor one of these, it's the same. And I put those outside together. Good. That is the end of the quadratic equations we are talking about. I want to show you something small here. That is the end of the quadratic equation. Good. So, I want you to note something. Note. Considering this. I hope you are watching good. In case this is equal to zero, like this, but it's not equal to zero. But in case it is equal to zero, okay, let me put this way. Note, if this is equal to zero, right? If this is equal to zero, maybe one of the uh, one of the factors. This is a factor, right? If you want to get a root, it implies you pick the whole of this equal to zero and solve. You get minus two. You take two over there. Also, why do I say also? I'm done with this. I'm on this. So that is also. So 
you take this there, you get minus three. So when they ask you to find the roots, that is how we go by. You, the whole of this equal to zero, that is what you get here. The whole of S plus three equal to zero, that is what you get. So these are roots and these are factors. Now when you put these two roots together, you get the factors back again. If you multiply the factors, you get a question again. Good. So when you have a quadratic and there is a zero, it means you have to go ahead to find the roots. Now this question that we are doing here contains no zero. There's no zero, it's not equal to anything. So that is why our answer became an expression such as s plus 2, s plus 3. That is all. We don't force ourselves to equal to zero. The question itself will demand, you see, maybe doing a rearrangement, such as maybe something like this. Maybe you have this, s squared plus 5x plus, plus 5 equals minus 1. Here, let's check. You see that you're going to get f squared plus 5x plus 5 plus 1. You see that? Good. Now, when minus 1 leaves its position and goes to the left hand side, it leaves 0. Please, we don't force 0 in quadratic. They come naturally, as you can see. So if you, if you happen to see a question like this and doing rearrangement, you happen to get 0, then we have to go ahead to find the roots as I did here. My other questions are just raw, as you can see in my in my three sets. That is all. Just do a new as an expression. That's an expression. These are roots. So take note. Good. So there is also note. Note two. That is note one. Good. So that is it. How did you go? It's not what you think. Quadratic equations are very easy. You just need the key to unlock it. Good. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. Don't forget to do the usual thing. Subscribe, share, like our videos, and interact with us at the comment section. Thank you.